let me try you know uh, let me do these uh, three commodity you know uh, three good world problems okay i mean uh, so that's uh, that's kind of a little different from you know the kind of problems that i have done in the in the lecture videos okay uh, so we can we can try this one okay so let's do this one okay so suppose you want to maximize with respect to x y and z minimum x y to the power a z to the power a where a is between 0 and 1 okay and uh, you want to maximize this the budget constraint is p x x plus p y y plus p z z is less than or equal to m and of course we also have those non negativity constraints okay so we want to solve this problem okay because that's uh, that's what we need to solve to actually find the demands right okay now there are actually multiple ways in which you can approach it uh so let me tell you one very you know uh, intuitive way in which you can actually uh, do this problem so basically what you can do is you know you can argue uh, that if if all the prices are positive you know he's never going to consume in optimum he's never going to choose x greater than y or x less than y okay is that fine okay uh, so let me first quickly give you an argument why he will never choose a point like this you know a point where x is strictly greater than y okay fine so <clears throat> so why is he not going to choose a point where x is strictly greater than y because you know suppose he does that suppose he chooses a point where x is strictly greater than y if he does that do you agree his utility will be y to the power a into z to the power a Yes. yes okay now do you agree we can reduce x a little bit reduce x a little bit and still maintain this inequality yes 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 do you agree that amount that he's going to save by reducing x he can actually spend it on y and z so that he can raise both y and z do you agree yes or no and if y and z both increases do you agree his utility will go up yes or no okay you know i mean you should you know try and think a little bit about you know these kind of arguments are actually very powerful you know if you actually try and think about these kind of arguments it makes the optimization problem really simple okay i mean just just think about it you know if you are at a point where you are consuming x greater than y so if you are consuming x greater than y you are unnecessarily spending more money on x when you could have reduced x okay uh, a little bit you know and save that money and you could have bought you could have spent that money on all three goods and you would have been able to raise your utility do you agree yes sir okay yes. so that's it that kind of argument actually rules out the possibility that uh, you know he's ever going to spend in optimum uh, at a point where x is greater than y of course i'm assuming all prices are positive okay so what does this tells you this tells you that you know you can actually uh, write this problem in 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 this way you know i mean instead of solving this problem you know you can actually uh, replace y by x because y will always be equal to x okay and rewrite the problem as a two variable optimization problem in this way 
so maxima is with respect to x and z okay and because y will always be equal to x so minimum of x comma x is x so you will get x to the power a into z to the power a okay uh, and of course we have these constraints p x x now because y became x so this will be p y x plus p z z is less than or equal to m okay and of course you also have uh, the non negativity constraint which is x is greater than or equal to 0 and z is greater than or equal to 0 now this is an easy problem okay uh, because you know if you really think about it i can just actually write this constraint in this way px plus py into x yes or no yes sir okay now all that you have to do is solve this problem and that's actually very easy it's a standard cobb douglas utility function that you are maximizing subject to uh, a constraint you know which is a standard budget constraint and uh, with non negativity constraints so obviously the solution is is kind of uh, straightforward xd px py pz m is equal to so he's going to spend uh, you know uh, half of his income on on uh, uh, you know you can you can you can say x and y okay so basically what you're going to get is m by 2 px plus py okay and uh, what is zd uh, zd is a function of px py pz m which is equal to m by 2 pz okay right yes or no and because x is equal to y so this is also yd okay so yd px py pz m is equal to xd px py pz m which is equal to m by 2 px plus py and zd is m by 2 pz okay and that's it that's the solution so i assume that you know how to solve uh cobb douglas uh utility maximization problems i mean it's also there in the videos 